This is the Razer Basilisk X Hyperspeed. It's the most budget-friendly wireless model in the Basilisk family. It costs 60 US dollars, and in this review, we're gonna take a look and see if it's worth it. The mouse comes with a Basilisk X user's manual, one of those typical message cards that you get from Razer's CEO when you buy one of their products, some logo stickers, and a AA battery. First impressions, I think this mouse looks amazing, and it's not because of any RGB lighting, because this one doesn't have any. It's just that shape and those long, pointy main buttons. It looks awesome. It's really aggressive looking, if that makes any sense. I think it's one of the best looking mice that Razer makes right now, and it makes my Viper Mini, Viper Ultimate, and Death Adder V2 all look super uncool in comparison. Now, the mouse isn't really all that small or lightweight. Razer reports its weight as 83 grams, but that doesn't include the battery. And Actually, I've seen some reviewers call Razer out for reporting the weight that way, and I just want to take a minute to say I don't agree with that. I don't understand why you would want them to report the weight with one specific type of battery when the mouse just has a standard AA battery compartment where you can stick any AA size battery in there, meaning you are free to change the weight. If you get a lighter weight lithium rechargeable battery and it's a AA size, you can definitely put it in there. So I think reporting the weight on Razer's side with just the bare bones shell of the mouse is definitely the way to go. All that said, if you take the battery that does come in the package and install it and weigh the mouse, it'll come in somewhere around 107 grams, which to be fair is definitely not lightweight. One of the main features here is the dual wireless connectivity. Using a switch on the bottom, you can toggle between 2.4G wireless or Bluetooth connections, and setting the switch to the middle position turns the mouse off. To use the 2.4G connection, you have to plug in the USB receiver dongle that comes stored in the battery compartment. Most mice tend to have 2.4G wireless or Bluetooth, but not usually both together, so I think that's a really cool feature, because it means this should be compatible with a ton of different devices and platforms. There's no plugs or USB ports or anything like that on the mouse, so there's absolutely Absolutely no option to plug it in even if you were to drop a rechargeable battery in there so that's completely off the table and if you're just using regular batteries and you're worried about swapping them out all that often you probably shouldn't be because the battery life's really good you can get up to 450 hours with a single AA battery on the Bluetooth connection and if you're using the 2.4 G wireless you can get about 285 hours all the buttons feel really nice they're easy to press and they feel solid although the side buttons seem to have just a little bit more travel than I'm used to on the Viper Ultimate the scroll wheel's really grippy and it feels like it's got the perfect amount of resistance and that also makes it really easy to press down to register a click. And the main buttons use mechanical switches with a lifespan of 50 million clicks. Overall, this is a really comfortable mouse. I love having that thumb rest on the side. It's something that I really miss from the old school Logitech mice that I used to use way back in the day. And this one's just really comfortable regardless of how you grip it. And speaking of grip, the sides have this nice soft rubber texture and it's just awesome. I think Razer did a really good job with the design and shape of the Basilisk mice. The Basilisk X Hyperspeed uses Razer's 5G optical sensor, and that is different than the Focus Plus sensor that we see in their higher end mice. But you shouldn't worry about that, because this is an excellent performing sensor. It's got 16,000 DPI, 450 IPS tracking speed, and up to 40G acceleration. In other words, there's just no way that the specs of this sensor are holding anyone back in any way. I'm used to using the Viper Ultimate, which does use Razer's brand new Focus Plus 20,000 DPI optical sensor, which is supposed to be amazing according to them, and I can tell you that I can't tell a difference between that sensor and the one on the Basilisk X Hyperspeed that I have right here in terms of performance, um, tracking speed, anything. They feel identical as far as I'm concerned. The mouse also comes with some onboard memory, so you can use Razer's Synapse software to configure your settings and then save them right to the mouse itself. That way they come with you wherever you go. And that's another really nice feature, although it's not really unique to the Basilisk, like so many mice have that these days, but it's cool. Like you can just save everything right to the mouse, throw it in your laptop bag, take it out when you're at school or work, bring it back home, use it on your computer or whatever you're doing, and all your settings just come with you. So I always like that when I'm looking at gaming mice. I think Razer has another winner on their hands here with the Basilisk X Hyperspeed. It's loaded with all the features and all the specs that gamers really need. And the only thing that it really leaves out or compromises on is RGB lighting. But when it comes to wireless gaming mice, RGB lighting just drains battery life. So who really wants that anyway? 
for $60 and actually even less when it's on sale, I think it's a solid option and it's definitely worth some consideration. The only downside for me is the weight. I actually think even if you drop a lithium battery in there, it's still probably gonna come in around like 100 grams or so. So there's just no way to turn it into a really lightweight gaming mouse. So to get the Basilisk X Hyperspeed to work for you, you basically gotta be somebody that's okay with a heavier mouse. So just keep that in mind. I'm gonna put the purchasing links down in the description. So make sure you check those out if you're interested and uh, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any upcoming content. And also leave us a comment down below and let us know what you think of the Basilisk X Hyperspeed and we'll see ya.